This week on Deer Gear, we're focusing on all things archery, and Do All Outdoors has a new target that is getting a lot of buzz in the archery world, as well as with traditional hunters. Meet the Mega Boom. Do All, we do, we do steel, we do impact seal, self-healing material. Um, we've got the whole gamut covered as far as targets, you know, high cal 22, handgun. We just couldn't really put our finger on the an interactive archery target and this really fits that really, really well and I think it's why it's so popular in the archery world because there's nothing like it out on the market currently. The Mega Boom is a device that will hold a bottle and allow you to fill it with air. It'll take arrows, BBs, pellets, 22, um, handgun, center fire. It's just a, a, a new way to get uh, a visual report, an audible report. And when you're done with it, take what's left over of the bottle, which is typically just a thread. You grab another bottle, fill it up, put four, five, six, a dozen out there, and just boom, 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 boom. And you've got an endless supply of targets, endless supply of free targets at home. Just raid your recycling bin. You know everything from the small bottles to Coke bottles, one liter bottle, two liter bottles. You know the the, the motto is the the bigger the bottle, the bigger the boom. There's always, on video, you can always hear a, a wow or a, oh my gosh, I didn't know he was gonna do that. I didn't know it was so loud. I mean, it's, it could be heard a mile away. It's as loud as a shotgun blast and it's totally safe. I get a lot of satisfaction out of watching the reaction on people's faces, in particular kids uh, and, and my own kids in general. When you know they see it and they're like, oh, this is just another target. You know, it's, it's a bottle. Kids can't put two and two together and they then boom, they're like, oh my gosh, this, do it again, Daddy. Let's, let's, let's do it again. Get more info about the Do All Outdoors Mega Boom by heading to doalloutdoors.com. The Mega Boom is an exciting new way to make the archery range fun for all ages, but it's also important to ensure you're making the most of your practice time, especially if you have a hunt coming up. Wade Middleton is back on the range at Deer Camp to share a few pointers to keep in mind while you prepare. You know, you can never say enough about practice, and it doesn't matter you know, whether you're you're shooting a rifle, a muzzleloader, shotgun, bow, crossbow, whatever, you need to spend some time getting used to everything about that equipment and how it's gonna perform. And, and a couple of things I like to do when it comes to archery is prepare to, you know, what am I gonna be expected to do in the field? And I've got a pop-up hunt coming up where I'm gonna be in a, in a chair, like what I'm sitting here right now. So I want to practice drawing and shooting from this exact position time and time again to get ready for that hunt. You know, so when we get into this type of a hunting situation, for me, I, I know that I've got three different windows. I can shoot left, I can shoot straight, and I can shoot out this one here. So, you know, in my mind, I'm already thinking about the different drawing positions to get into based on the, the hunting situation I'm going to be in. So, you know, one of them, I'm pretty much, I can't raise my bow high or low, so I need to be prepared to go right out like this and take that shot just exactly like that. Now, I want to get into the position to understand that I might have to hold this for a long time as I draw, that deer could technically spook, turn, and everything not give me the shot. So, you know, don't be afraid to spend some time at full draw in there and be looking through it and thinking about it and visualize the exact shot, everything that you're looking for, and then make that shot that you're looking for. And if you'll do some of those things when it comes hunting time, you won't panic, you won't, you know, make those rash decisions a lot of time. So put yourself into those types of situations. Another thing that I like to do when I'm getting ready for any type of hunt is think about the clothing that I'm going to be wearing. Is it going to be bulky clothes? Is it going to be cold? Is it going to be hot? And try to prepare myself for that. One thing I see a lot of people make a mistake on is never practicing with a face mask on. If you're going to wear a face mask when you're at full draw, make sure you practice with it on because all those anchor points that you're touching are no longer going to feel the same if you've got a face mask on.